Welcome to the tutorial on a one-way MANOVA. This is Dr. Amanda Rockinson Zapku, and in this tutorial, we are going to overview what a MANOVA is. The one-way multivariate analysis of variance, or the MANOVA, is used to compare the linear composite or vectors of means between two or more groups. It tests the null hypothesis that the sample population means on a set of related dependent variables do not vary across different levels of a factor or grouping variable. Essentially, the analysis combines the dependent variables to form a new dependent variable in such a way to maximize the difference between the groups of the independent variable. It really helps control for the relationship among the dependent variables or between the dependent variables and thus helps control for type 1 error. It is between the new composite variable that you test or we will test for a statistically significant difference between or among the groups. Specifically, we're going to look between uh, in our example. If the MANOVA is then found significant, then we do follow-up tests uh, sp more specifically one-way ANOVAs, and if we had more than two groups, we'd do post hoc tests to examine exactly where the differences lie. Now, for a one-way MANOVA, we need the following variables. We need one independent variable that's categorical or measured at a nominal level. For example, many studies have a treatment and a control group. We also need two or more related, note I said the word related, that means they, they're associated and statistically associated, dependent variables measured at either a ratio or interval level. I'll also note here that MANOVAs can be extended to two-way or higher order designs involving two or more categorical independent variables. However, here we're going to focus on a one-way MANOVA. So we'll have one independent variable and two dependent variables, two related dependent variables. Now, what will we cover in this set of tutorials on the one-way MANOVA? Well, I'm going to guide you step-by-step step through the process of conducting a one-way MANOVA in SPSS. Also, we're going to discuss how to interpret and report results. And we are going to look at how assumption testing is done. Well, I, we're actually going to start with assumption testing. Why is this? Well, what we know is, is that for parametric analyses, assumptions need to be tenable in order for the parametric analysis to be robust. In some cases, where there are lots or multiple violations a non of assumptions, a non-parametric analysis needs to be considered. Now, in this set of tutorials, we are going to examine the following research question. The research question is, is there a statistically significant difference in university students' linear combination of learning community and connectedness based on the type of program they are enrolled in for their course of study? either online or traditional. Now let's take a moment and talk about the, in, the independent and dependent variables, or the variables that we'll be analyzing. First of all, remember for a one-way ANOVA, MANOVA, we need to have one, at least one, categorical independent variable. In this case, the independent variable is type of program. And there are two levels or two groups. We're going to be comparing online versus traditional. Then you'll see that there are two associated dependent variables, learning community and connectedness. Now, when we do statistics, we are examining a research question, but ultimately what we're doing is testing null hypothesis. Now, there are three null hypotheses for this research question. The first null hypothesis examines the linear combination of learning community and connectedness. So we're examining the, what we termed a little bit ago, the new dependent variable. If we find that we can reject this null hypothesis because we have statistically significant results, we then go on to test two other hypotheses, hypo, or two null hypotheses. 
for uh, the first one that we'll look at is, uh, is there a difference or more specifically, let's look at this as a statement because a null hypothesis is a statement. Um, we're going to test, will traditional and online students, or traditional and online students do not statistically significantly differ in their learning community as measured by the classroom community scale. So that's the first dependent variable. And then we'll also analyze the second dependent variable, connectedness.